Hi Aries, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. So quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Descendant signs. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising Sign Aries, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. So before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So doing things slightly different this week, as you can probably see already. So let's get straight into it. For your actions and options this week, you have the Six of Wands. This is a fantastic card, especially for you, Aries, because we're in Aries season, right? Which is always about driving new things forward and bringing new energy out into the world. And more importantly, new energy out of ourselves in some way, shape or form. Now, the fact that you've got the Six of Wands as your actions and options card, this is about you boldly stepping forward into life. Effectively, this week, you are gonna be letting people know who you are. This is you with all of your mojo back. This is you in your element it's you speaking your truth it's you really standing for yourself in a lot of ways and what it suggests is this is about you stepping forward in the new way that you choose to be but more importantly it's a lot about letting people know this is how I'm going to be from here on in I kind of in a lot of ways I feel like Aries is another one of those signs that spent quite a few months kind of going through that whole you know the the Mars retrograde as well would have really um you know, sun, moon or ascendant people, the Mars retrograde would have really put you guys in uh, a very interesting spot. And I think in a lot of ways, it really forced you to look at yourself uh, so that you can start to discover who it is that you want to be from here on in. There was kind of like a massive reinvention of self that went on, right? With Mars being in Aries for so long. And I think the Six of Wands is basically the herald that says this week, I'm stepping into that new person that I envisioned myself to be long ago when that retrograde was taken in place. I say long ago, it wasn't that long ago, but for me it felt like it. It feels like it with the amount of stuff that's happened already this year. Whew. All right, so it's going to be a great week for you guys. Not only that, this is about a personal victory. So this could be the completing of a test. It could be getting a job, uh, you know, getting a job after an interview. So like a successful start of a job for some of you. This could be passing your driving test. It could be, um, you know, getting the acceptance letter to your chosen school, uni, course, etc. Uh, I really like this for you guys because in a lot of ways, I think this is the herald of what is going to be from here on in. For your communications and conversations, you have the Queen of Wands. So again, in some way, shape or form, this is you in all of your glory and your power. Now, even for those of you that are guys that are out there, uh, you know, that are saying, oh, you know, but that's the Queen. Uh, the, remember the court cards can and very often do speak to experiences of us uh, through archetypal natures. What is the nature of the queens? Well, they are changeable, they are movable, they are flowing, but they are also uh, very, in a lot of ways, the queens are the unsung heroes, right? And the reason I say that is because they're able to take the element that they that they govern and they're able to transmute that element or become the transmuting force of that element. So the fact that you've got the Queen of Wands, this is about standing your ground, speaking your truth. It's about speaking up. It's about putting people on blast or notice if you must do. Uh, the fact that you've got this and the Six of Wands, in a lot of ways, this is a powerful and dynamic week. This is a week where you really will be feeling like expressing yourself um you know probably like never before you know I, I actually really like this so the other thing is as well for those of you that work for somebody else the queen of wands suggests that when it comes to work especially because you've got this six of wands here this is about you being very clear with your superiors and even your peers as well so this week conversations might take a turn towards oh well you know you need to do this or you need to do that and this week if you're not up for it, you're going to be letting people know. And this week, if you are up for it, you will be letting people know. It's like you're getting back to that aspect of self where you're able to really go for what you want and to speak your truth. And this is really, really important for those of you that work for yourselves, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs. Um, I actually, again, really like this. This could be you maybe standing your ground with a big client. Uh, maybe, I don't know, um, you know, maybe you have a, a big client or a big contract with someone. And for that reason, 
you know, everybody does it. You tend to bend over backwards for those people, right? It, it's just a part of the way that things are. However, this week, you could be kind of drawing that proverbial line in the sand to say, look, actually, you know what? That's not going to happen. This is where I stand with it. You're either on board or you're not. <laughs> you know, I, I, I love this because that means that there is a renewed sense of self. There's a renewed sense of vigor uh, within you that is going to be taken over. And then finally, for those of you that are retired or no longer working, in a lot of ways, this is going to see you stepping up to the plate in some way, shape or form, whether this is in your peer group, whether it's with your family, whether it is with a group of people that you work with. Um, you know, or alongside or a group that you're associated with, in some way, shape or form, you are ready to do what Aries does naturally and step into that leadership role, uh, which is really, really exciting for you guys, I think. So for your money and materials, you have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so the one thing that you want to probably be aware of this week is you may be tempted to spend more money than is maybe necessary so just be aware of that especially if you're signing anything of a contractual nature um the reason i say this is because with the knight of swords sometimes it can see us doing something too quick and especially when it comes to your money this week this is even though everything is ticking over nicely just be sure that your uh, whatever it is that you're purchasing is actually fit for purpose to start with and also make sure that you're not going to suffer from buyer's remorse you know it's like that thing when you want something so bad you go and buy it and then when you get it you're like oh actually you know i don't know if it was worth it and then all of that the other way that this could play out as well on the opposite end of the spectrum especially because you've got that six of wands there this could really see your finances in some way really start to speed up especially like if you're in control of your own cash flow so you know business owners etc this could see your finances or the way that you make money or even the amount of money that you earn really start to skyrocket when it comes to your physical health and vitality please look after your hands your arms your fingers um, you know all of your digits like this general sort of area uh, for those of you that have not done any exercise for a while this would be a great week to start something where you're going to start building up your cardio uh, very very important and then for uh, your home and environment well look I mean you're going to be so busy and so dynamic this week don't be surprised if the home reflects that all right and then for your love and relations you have the knight of pentacles so check this out you've got the knight of swords and you've got the knight, knight of pentacles and then you've got the queen of wands and the six of wands this is sexy it is sensual it is dripping and oozing sex appeal the two knights together in the tower when they come up like that literally represents intimacy so for those of you that are in partnerships or relationships you could be feeling yourself you might even be feeling your partner if they're lucky <laughs> um but there is a it, for me it kind of feels like whatever has gone before in the relationship is now coming to a close and this week there's again like there's this energy where you and your partner are really like you know what we're we're long term we are end game this is us this is you and me for the long haul this is us until the wheels fall off it looks like a lot of you are finally really ready to be in the relationship that you're actually in and your partner is reciprocating that and so there's this newfound sense of intimacy that comes from this understanding that we are in it for the long haul which is beautiful for those of you that are single it, literally like you could just be feeling yourself this week like you could just be so much in your own element and that in itself is really sexy you know when you see somebody that's just totally aware of themselves totally in their own energy in their own you know like that's very very attractive to everybody I don't care who you are and it's not about being cocky it's about really being in command of yourself and this week you're demonstrating that and I think this is what could draw a potential new partner to you um, the fact that they come through the guise of the knight of pentacles means that this is very likely to be somebody that could be around for a long time to come so be aware of that so your human design oracle card for the week is number nine gate number nine the small details right so pay attention to the minutiae pay attention to uh, especially like the thing that i love about this card as well it reminds you to look at something and ask yourself. So even if you're in a similar situation to one that you've been in previously, pay attention to the small details because that's what's gonna show you what is different. That's gonna show you where this isn't the same situation, where you're not the same person, where the person that you're connecting to maybe is not the same person. 
all of those small details are going to be the things that really pay um, that really help you pay attention to the fact that everything is different this time round. Um, I feel that this is just like a really growthful week. I feel like it's going to be fun. I feel like it's going to be dynamic. I feel like you are in your element and really just you know chugging on the <laughs> chugging on the juice of your own mojo, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the best way to put it. Um, I love this. And remember, if you are celebrating this week, a happy damn birthday to you. Please, please, please don't forget to fill the day of your solar return with a little bit of everything that you want in it. So, you know, if you can do, go out and see friends, family members, let people spoil you, do some pampering of yourself, learn the first three to five words of a new language. Like there's so many things that you can do to seed this intention. So use it to the best of your ability. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Take care and I'll see you soon.